What is up? Today I'm going to give you eight things every well-rounded gentleman should have right now. Number one, every gentleman should have a barber. Underline A, one barber, okay? So you don't want to be that guy that goes into the barber shop asking, you know, saying, whoever is up next can get me. Whoever finishes first, I'm getting in the chair. You don't want to be that guy, okay? For one, you never know what kind of haircut you're going to get. Bruh. Like, you don't want to be the guy that every time you get in someone's chair, you're praying that they cut your hair wet, right? You need some milk. Right, you don't, you don't wanna be that guy. So get you one barber that knows how to cut your hair. They know that you have a cowlick or they know how to cut your swirl so that you don't get a, uh, a bald spot. Get one barber and you'll be able to look good. Number two, you wanna have a suit. Every gent should have a suit, okay? so. Even if you don't go places a lot, you know, you want to have that one suit that you can count on, you know, and you want that to be a, either a navy blue suit or a gray suit, all right? So don't go wild for your first suit. Navy blue, gray, that will get you through every occasion outside of a, a high-end event like a black tie or something that you have to wear a tuxedo that will get you through. So, you know, weddings, funerals, uh, dinner parties, those those kind of events, that suit will get you through. You need to have one suit, all right? Now, if you can't, you know, if you want to save up to get your high-end suit or whatever, then you need to at least have a navy blazer, okay? The navy blazer and some chinos or some dark denim, that will get you through all of those occasions until you actually, again, until you get to that black tie or wherever you need to wear a suit, tuxedo, that will get you through. All right, so you need to have a suit. So first, get a suit. If you can't get a suit, get a navy blazer. You want that first suit to be navy blue or gray. All right. Number three, you need to have a signature scent. Okay, I think every gentleman should have a scent. All right, so the scent for one, you want to have the signature scent so that you're not testing out scents when you really need, like you don't need to blow it, okay? You want to already know I have a go-to scent that I can count on every time, time in, time out, time again, I can count on, all right? So the reason you want to do this is because our bodies, our body chemistry reacts different to different scents. And so just because it smelled good on that guy does not mean it's gonna smell good on you, all right? If I put on, you know, you, what do you have? Gucci Guilty or Lacoste Original. What if I tried on those scents and I smelled like Dookie? But in the store, they smell awesome. That's not gonna be a good look for me if I sprayed that on and then went to a business meeting or whatever, okay? So you wanna have that go-to scent and mine is actually Green Irish Tweed by Cree. That scent, you know, it's crisp, it's clean. You can wear it through all the seasons. I just love it, it's, it's like the best, okay? Now again, it's the best for me, it does not mean it'll be the best for you. So get you a signature scent, okay? Number four, you need a good sense of humor. Every gent should have a good sense of humor. Okay, nobody likes the stuck up, um, uptight, always serious, 100% of the time guy. Okay, you need to be able to relax and be able to take a joke. You need to be able to laugh, okay? Every gentleman should be able to laugh, have a sense of humor. Plus, uh, by the way, if you're single, Every woman likes a guy with a good sense of humor. So you might as well go ahead and start now and get a good sense of humor. 
don't take stuff too serious you know the stuff that people say all that kind of stuff let it roll off and keep on moving it's not that important you know uh, get a sense of humor I mean uh, seriously if you're too uptight your credit score will go down like 27 points <laughs> but I mean so you see what I did there like you just laughed that's a sense of humor get it number five every gentleman should have a white button-down shirt not just one you want to have multiple so three four I mean maybe even five white button-down shirts reason is because this shirt is so versatile it's like one of the it's the chameleon of your wardrobe so whether you're dressing it up whether you're dressing it down whether you have on a suit you know you can wear any kind of tie and pocket square combination and it will work with that white button-down shirt you can wear it open by itself you can wear it with the sleeves rolled, rolled and some denim jeans it literally works with everything you need multiple though because it's white it's gonna get dingy if you're only wearing one and you definitely don't want those nasty pit stains you don't want that all right so you get multiple uh, maybe one maybe if they have multiple different collars you know widespread and narrow that way you kind of can mix it up but you want to be able to rotate those shirts so that they don't get like that okay but you need to have that white button down shirt multiple so number six dark denim now we just talked about the most versatile piece in your wardrobe being the white button-down shirt well number six is dark denim and that's literally the white button-down shirt of your bottom half all right so dark denim can go with anything and you need it in your closet the dark denim it works dressed up it works dressed down whether it's sneakers boots um, dress shoes it all flows and works well with the dark denim get you some all right number seven that one's gonna be a tailor all right so every gentleman every well-rounded gent has a tailor now the tailor is very important to the gent okay every piece of clothing every article you get more than likely should go through the tailor before you wear it so as soon as you get out of store you go get a nice polo take it to the tailor nice suit take it to the tailor denim jeans tailor the tailor will make it look like it's for you straight out of the store okay no no article of clothing that you get straight out of the store is gonna fit your body perfectly because it was it was probably made on a square and so unless you're built like that you're gonna need to take it to the tailor the tailor I mean, I don't know what they do, but they literally work magic, okay? So they will take a garment that's slightly too big for you, and they will make it fit your body to perfection. And have you ever seen that guy that you're like, man, his stuff looks so much better on him than the, I wear the same stuff and it does not look like that on me. Chances are they're taking it to the tailor. How do I know this? It happened to me you know I seen a guy and I'm like man that looks great on him I got stuff similar same brands and everything and it does not look like that on me we're kind of the same bill what's going on go ask him and guess what he tells me I go to the tailor ever since then I've been taking my stuff to the tailor for years now and it has been wonderful now guess what people do me like that right so you know, when you're picking the tailor, you know, for me, my tailor, I went through two or three tailors before I found her, but she is literally awesome, okay? She's, my tailor's been in the business for 30 years, 30 plus years, she's been in the same spot for 30 years, so she knows exactly what she's doing and she can work on a lot of different projects. So, uh, there's nothing that I can bring to her that she hadn't already seen, right? So, you get a good tailor on your hands, telling you they literally are magicians they can work magic 
Okay, lastly, every well-rounded gent should know what's going on in the world. So you should have some knowledge on the top things that are happening on a day-to-day, -day, okay? So you wanna know more than just about sports. The reason is you wanna be able to have great conversations with other people outside of your friends and family. So you wanna be well-rounded in uh, you know all things, news, sports, and the top pop culture, okay? And one way to do this is by knowing what's going on in that day. Now, one way that I do it is through email. There are a couple of uh, different companies that they literally curate all the news for that day and they send it to you in an email. I go through the email, now I know what's going on in that day. You can do the same thing. You don't have to go flipping through CNN and uh, Channel 8, 4, whatever you watch. You don't have to do that because, I mean, it's a lot of fluff and that's the reason why I don't watch the news on TV. It's a lot of extra stuff and a lot of negative stuff. Not, I have, listen, I can deal with negative. I'm not that guy that, oh, no negative in my life. That's not me, right? But if I can avoid it, then I will. And I found a way to do that by getting these emails from the companies. One company is called OZY Daily Dose. You type that into Google, it'll take you to their website and then you can put in your email and they'll send you a daily email. Now, the next one is called Morning Brew. And Morning Brew, I really like that one more. Um, so I, I just get both of them, I look at both. They do have different information. Sometimes it's the same on certain parts. But on Morning Brew, it actually tells you the top stocks for the day, um, different companies that are ringing the bell um, that you might need to know about, right? Top companies that are doing that different mergers, acquisitions, but it, it's different news that's going on in today, even pop culture news, stuff that's going on around the world, you know, so you want to be able to be well-rounded so that you can talk to different people outside of your bubble and actually have a good conversation, a memorable conversation that you can take and then use that to cultivate a great relationship with others. Okay, so that is it. Those are the eight things that I believe, uh, and now trust me, there are more, but those are some of the key eight things that I believe that every well-rounded gent should have. All right, now if you know some more, let me know, because I want to know, uh, just in case I, I can add in some as well, and maybe I'll do another one with more on there, because there's definitely a lot more. Uh, but these are some that you can start with and build on if you don't have anything to go off of. Right, with that being said, though, I'll see you in the next video, man. And, and just keep your head up. Keep trucking along, man. You got this. We got this. Peace.